Good morning, everyone. Today, I am Miss Rarasini of Class 6A Greenhouse, who is here to recite a story. And the title of my story is The First Ring of Rainbow in Starswood. So here, I would like to begin. Once there was a kingdom called Starswood, which was known for its Rainbow Solar Festival, which was celebrated every 29th of February. In this kingdom, there not only lived powerful witches and wizards who did magic, but there also lived ordinary people. In this kingdom, there was also a big academy, and, and the name of the academy is Solar Lunar Eclipse Academy. In this academy, there were many young boys and girls starting to become powerful witches and wizards. There were also a lot of professors who were masters in various subjects. In this school was a shy and timid student also. Her name was Melissa. She always felt nervous to do anything in front of the public. She was so timid that she didn't even participate in any competitions or programs which was held in the school or in the kingdom. The professors thought that Melissa won't be able to do anything in the future because they saw how Melissa behaved whenever they gave her a task which required courage and bravery. Her friends also thought the same, so they left her. Melissa used to be very sad whenever she took a walk in the evening at the campus alone. She always heard people whispering that she was a stupid and a coward witch who cannot even perform a spell. But actually, Melissa was not a stupid witch. She had so much knowledge about the spells because she was a bookworm. She could always be seen in the library with books. But because she was timid, she was nervous to use all the spells even if she knew. So, after some days, the day of Rainbow Solar Festival was coming. People were so excited that they were quickly decorating their houses with rainbow and sun accessories. On the other hand, in the academy, an elf came and announced that in the evening, he would be coming to take the name of the students who would like to participate in the competition of Rainbow Solar Festival. Many students were pretty excited and started making plans for the spells they would use. Melissa also heard it, but suddenly her face turned down. I also want to participate. She said to herself, but what if something goes wrong? I don't want to see people laughing at me. Oh, what should I do? <laughs> Melissa kept thinking about it for hours. Then suddenly, she remembered something. I know, that spell. The spell which could bring a ring of rainbow around the sun. No one in Starsville has ever seen it. Melissa ran to her bookshelf and pulled out the fattest book in her bookshelf. She quickly flipped the pages of the book and memorized the spell in it. Melissa was happy. In the evening, the elf came and noted all the names of the participants. Melissa also gave her name. The next day was the Rainbow Solar Festival. Everyone in Starsville was pretty excited and were ready for the programs. The competition soon began and the host also gave an introduction to everyone about the participants and the competition. Then they were selected for three rounds. Melissa was in the first round. In each round there were two students. The first round began. Melissa was to duel with Tony, her classmate. At first she was scared and nervous but soon became at ease. She easily defeated him by using the water spell which could cut even crystals. After her turn, two more rounds finished and started. Along with Melissa, there were two other students who were the winner of their rounds. Now the final round began. The sky suddenly got dark by black clouds. Everyone was staring at the sky in shock. The sun's rays were not able to shoot past the clouds as they were where as the clouds blocked the sun rays. The host said, The task is that you should try to clear away the clouds and bring back the sun. The participant who would be able to do it shall re receive a marvelous award. The other participants looked a bit nervous, 
but Melissa's face was calm. First, Rihanna, the winner of second round, tried. She lifted up her wand and said a spell needed to the wind which could blow away clouds. But nothing seemed to work, so Rihanna gave up. Next, Ray came up. She also made a low bow, lifted up her wand, and said a fire spell which could burn even rain. But that also didn't work, so Ray too gave up. And now finally, it was Melissa's turn. She bravely went up to the stage, made a big bow, smiled, and looked up at the sky. She lifted up her wand, closed her eyes, and lowly said, Solaria Rainbow Lizard, Ring of Color. Then, marvelously, a rainbow shot out of her wand. Everyone was surprised. The rainbow shot past the clouds and suddenly blew them away in all directions as if a meteor had been collided with the kingdom. Everyone was staring at the sky. The sun was there, but around it was a big shiny rainbow. Everyone got up and cheered and clapped for her. She was happy. The host now knew that Melissa is the winner. So she was rewarded with a golden snow globe which could reflect lunar light and convert it into solar energy. Melissa was overjoyed. In her school, when she returned, all her friends came to her and they all said that they were very sorry to think of her as a coward. The professors also congratulated and praised her. Melissa had now become a different per person. She says, if you feel nervous to perform something in front of the public, don't give up. Try your best and things will work out. The end.